Okay, well, I thought I'd make an addendum here because Poodle Susan, not going to the thread I just see in my inbox, I said, I don't know if you're going to go through on your thread, but and she blocked me right at that point because I couldn't put the dot, 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 and I had another thing, which is fine. She says, I haven't, her comment now, I haven't made a single threat to you. Yes, you threatened to stop conversing in my videos and this kind of blocking thing, which you carried on to. So I haven't made a single threat to you, you lying piece of shit. No, that's what I was talking about, your threat to block and the rest of it. You said ahead of time before you did it, and then you did it. No one is saying she consented to being a nanny, you lying piece of shit. Um, do you not see how I can relate that to consented to have sex? So we can't ask the question of consented to being a nanny. We know she didn't do that, but maybe she consented to having sex. Okay. Then you said you aren't framing shit other than a failed attempt at framing me as a rape apologist. No, I have not even... You said it is likely rape by coercion. It's Gary that's supposedly being framed in the other sense of framed as a rape apologist. And no, he's a Thomas Jefferson apologist. Mm, which, unfortunately, since Thomas Jefferson was a slave rapist, is a pretty messy, dirty business. And then she says, you are a disgusting liar. Well, I'm a lying piece of shit. I'm a lying piece of shit. You are a disgusting liar. I actually haven't called you any names, Poodle Susan. And you are very, very rude and vilely so and suddenly so and you are having uh going ape shit and you i have not gone lying piece of shit rock bees right there i'm talking about the issue still this is what happens when you think in association and you're protecting gary from being called as a rape apologist and because you associate with him that's you being called a rape apologist when really I didn't call either one of you a rape apologist. You're confused with some other people. What I said is that Thomas Jefferson was, in fact, in technicality, a rapist. That's what I said, Poodle, Poodle Susan. Those other things were voices in your head about what it means to you. If Thomas Jefferson was a rapist and Gary is a rape apologist, and then that makes you a rape apologist. I have not actually called you that. You just tried to take it out on me because blah, blah, blah. you can't handle the conversation then don't have conversations on serious subjects then you are pissed me off so much and it's ridiculous just from zero to you lying ptt you lying ptt you this that thing like and it's totally unrelated that gary is blocking me again well guess what gary blocks me all the time and frankly i don't even know anymore when i'm blocked or not Half the time, if he blocks me, it's like, well, that was a surprise, though. Right now, I did happen to know that he had unblocked me a couple months ago because I left some comments in there. And then he blocked me again. Well, I've been blocked by him more than half of the time that we've talked to each other online. And you getting caught up like this, making yourself look like a hysterical, uh, like a hysterical, foul-mouthed uh, banshee to someone because I said Thomas Jefferson is technically a rapist. You don't like the associational implications of that. And that is your problem. And good luck with your messages in the world. Signed, this lying piece of shit. Because I lied. I'm lie, lie, lie. You and NC Perfidy. Lie, lie, lie. Because you haven't made a threat. Yeah, you did. You said, I'm not going to go to his videos anymore comment in them and take part that's what you said i took it as a threat that you're going to take your ball and go home and that's what you did that is a threat granted who gives a shit but it still counts as a threat no one is saying she consented to being a nanny no you're saying she consented to get fucked and being a mother but she didn't consent to be a nanny i'm saying this is a relevant issue would you say she consented to being a nanny because I'll bet she treated those kids nice and loved them. Did she consent to being a nanny from the lying piece of shit, you evader? You associationalist evader? Well, that's mean, huh? Now I'm trying to frame you as an associationalist evader. I'm a lying piece of shit! You aren't framing shit other than a failed attempt at framing me as a rape apologist. That's in your paranoid delusion. I'm not framing you as a rape candidate. The framing is an honest framing to 
Thomas Jefferson was a, a rapist and a slave owner and a hypocrite and a jerk. And this article I'm reading, I just read the first section of, I want to hear the, the Thomas Jefferson apologists after that. And after we have to hear about the lying and the censorship of his history in the 50s and stuff, and how he really was and how he liked to be the good master. Some people like to be the mean master. Some people like to be the good master. I gave him every chance. I only beat him after I really had to give him a good chance and just needed a beating. Thomas Jefferson apologists.